Hello and welcome to Be One With Benjamin, the free English learning channel here to help you to practice perfection every day. Today we're going to do a video about idioms. We're going to learn 10 new idioms about things. Now they all have different meanings. I'm going to explain them as we go through. Um, but each of these you can use them in everyday life for a number of different reasons. So at the end of this video you'll have a number of idioms that you can use and deploy at different times uh, depending on the situation. So here we go and good luck. So the first idiom is to sleep like a log. To sleep like a log. This describes a state of being in a really deep undisturbed sleep. So you are the kind of person who either sleeps very heavily, as we say, uh, when nothing wakes you up, or perhaps that you are so tired that nothing could possibly wake you up. An example would be, I slept like a log last night, or she always sleeps like a log. The next phrase is at the drop of a hat, at the drop of a hat. Now this simply means to be uh, reacting very quickly. So she was prepared to leave at the drop of a hat. This means almost instantaneously. She was prepared to leave instantaneously at any moment. The third one is a fork in the road, a fork in the road. No, it doesn't mean there's cutlery in the road. It means that there is a choice to be made. So you are at a point where you need to choose between one thing or another thing. I was at a fork in the road. I could either study for more of the same thing or a new exciting topic. Or we were at a fork in the road when we decided to take the more positive route. The next idiom is a cat's whisker, a cat's whisker. Uh, this basically means a very fine margin. So, for example, he won the race by a cat's whisker, or she got home in time by a cat's whisker. The next phrase is not a sausage, not a sausage. So it simply means nothing. There is nothing, okay? It means there's no options, nothing there. I went to breakfast, and there was nothing there, not a sausage. That's quite a literal version of it. Or she was speaking to the crowd and there was no reaction to her speech at all, not a sausage. The next one is, you're pulling my leg. You're pulling my leg. Uh, it means you're joking, right? For example, she was just pulling my leg when she told me I had a parking ticket on my car. Or don't worry, I'm just pulling your leg. I'm just joking. The next one is the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room. This means there is an unspoken topic or issue that is not spoken about. So the elephant in the room is the issue that nobody is talking about. For example, the elephant in the room is that we all know that Robert hasn't done his homework, but he hasn't told the teacher yet. Or Nobody would talk about it. It was the elephant in the room. The next one is almost a description of someone. It's a tough cookie, a tough cookie. This is often a description of a person, someone who is very strong, perhaps in a physical way or in a mental way. You might say, you're a tough cookie, aren't you? It's more often used in a mental way rather than a physical way. But you might say to someone, oh, they can handle it. They're a tough cookie. Uh, the next one is turn over a new leaf. Turn over a new leaf. This means to make a fresh start. For example, I turned over a new leaf and decided to learn a new language. Or she turned over a new leaf and said she wasn't going to speed in her car anymore. Okay, the last one is no brainer. No brainer. Now you may think this means uh, a stupid thing or a stupid person, but what a no brainer is, is an easy decision. So when they asked me if I wanted water or beer, it was a no brainer for me. Or if someone said to you, 
they could teach you to drive in 10 minutes, it would be a no-brainer. Okay everyone, that's it for these idioms. How did you get on with those 10 idioms? Try to practice using them in real life and see how you get on. If you would like to learn about other idioms or you've heard some and you don't know the meaning, leave it in the comments below or like, subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. So there are, there is, there, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> uh. <laughs>